Hello, how are you doing? I hope you're doing fucking amazing. I want to talk about authenticity in this video, how it actually allowed me to overcome my stutter and how I believe it's actually the only way to overcome your stutter and feel enjoyment speaking and feel like you are living the life you actually want to live and not just settling because you have a stutter okay so before we hop in before we hop in before we hop into this quick introduction of myself my name is chase gillis and i help people who stutter overcome their stutter by addressing the real root issues such as authenticity so they can express themselves naturally how they want without speech techniques without having to always speak in a certain rhythm three words per breath or whatever that is okay because i'm someone who has overcome his stutter without speech techniques so without further ado let's dive into it right now before we dive into authenticity and before we dive into how this plays a role let me tell you a quick story i've probably had about four or five clients so far who were absolutely perfectly fluent absolutely perfectly fluent but the reason why they came to me is because they were using a speech technique that only allowed them to say three words per breath which only allowed to only allow them to express themselves on a tightrope they couldn't be spontaneous they couldn't speak how they wanted to. They couldn't crack the jokes at the rhythm they wanted to crack the jokes at. Everything had to be scripted. And because of that, they were still living in their heads. They didn't stutter, but they were still living in their heads. And how the fuck is that any better? How that, that's the reason we want to overcome our stutter is to be out of our heads, is to be free, is to be present, isn't to always have a speech technique in our brain and that's why i know for a fact the only way to overcome your stutter lasting and enjoyable and you're like fuck it doesn't even matter if i stutter i enjoy speaking so fucking much when you are authentic okay when you're speaking saying the words you want to say, when you're acting how you want to act, when you're expressing yourselves how, however the fuck you want to express yourselves, express yourself. And the reason why authenticity plays a massive role in overcoming your stutter is because oftentimes these environments that we stutter the most in, such maybe at the lunch, ah, bit my tongue, at the lunch table, maybe during a presentation, meeting new people, we are the least authentic versions of ourselves. And the reason why this is, is because we feel like we've had past experiences that didn't go well in these environments. So in order to strengthen ourselves, in order to not get hurt this time, we must develop into a, into a version of ourselves that is proving that is pleasing, that is pretending, that is perfecting. Because if we're perfect, and if we're proving ourselves, and if we're, if we're good in their eyes, then we feel safe, then we won't get hurt. That's what we think. But in, in doing so, we will not be able to show and act and say the words we wanna say, we will not be able to be authentic. And what's way, way, way deeper rooted than any other tension ever is the tension you feel when you're misaligned with you know with how you know you should be acting it doesn't matter what speech technique you're using it doesn't matter what what you're doing if you are miss or if you're living in a way that is misaligned with your own values with how you want to act with how you want to show up there will constantly be tension and now a speech technique that you use only covers up that tension and says you know what let's push that down because i'd rather be fluent but you're still feeling this tension 
you're just now fluent because you're using a speech technique because you got really good at speaking that way. What if we address that tension? What if we address that tension and we feel safe in authenticity? That's what the journey is all about because that is where the majority of the tension is. And you know that too, the majority of your pain, the majority of your suffering is not being able to show up how you truly want to show up. And the reason why you don't is because you view, is because in, internally you view it and you feel it as unsafe to show up that way, but it's not. It's not, it's completely safe. I've never died by stuttering. I've never died by doing things that are embarrassing because I want to do them. I always felt good because my inner child felt fucking heard, felt understood, and it knew that it's safe to, to show up however he wanted to show up. When I made congruence with that, when I started to live authentic, authentically regardless regardless irregardless if i stuttered or not that is when i enabled myself to feel safe because i went through some hard times and i had to test myself but all in all i did i didn't die and i viewed it as i am now safe and the best version of me to show up as is my authentic self and when i truly believed that through the process i went through when I truly believe that being authentic is default, not having that constant incongruence with how I'm acting is default. I'm naturally in a, in a stressless state. I'm naturally in a, re, in a relaxed state because I don't have to prove to anybody. I don't have to please or pretend or perfect. I'm completely safe with how I am, with how I show up and my promise to you is that if you are in this state too where you feel completely safe to show up how you want to authentically and you don't have that underlying constant tension because you're not living in line with your values that is going to grant you the results you actually want that will allow you to in turn express yourself however you want not have to script everything because you have to speak in a certain way of being you can express yourself exactly, exactly how you want. And now I'm not saying that speech techniques don't play a role. I, I, I am saying that if you latch onto a speech technique, the very first part of your journey, and you don't even deal with this authenticity issue, you don't deal with that. You will always be in suffering. You'll always be in pain until we deal with this underlying shit first and we're completely safe with whatever then you can focus more on the fluency part of it but it's not going to be a huge drive to you you'll just be like okay yeah sure i'll i'll do that but it won't matter it won't matter if you're fluent or if you're not because you're completely safe in how you show up and that's the most power that is the most powerful spot to be in and that's the spot I'm in now. And that's the spot where all my clients are evolving into as I'm working with them every single day on this journey that I went through myself to be the most authentic version of myself. So we can speak freely, speak however the fuck we want to and not feel tension when we do. And that turns from me being a severe on and off starter and on and off starterer in some environments, I couldn't even say a fucking word. Now being able to express myself however I want to. And even if I do stutter, it doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't impact my self worth. And that's the fucking goal. All right. That is the goal. If you are sincerely interested about taking action and learning to overcome your stutter the authentic way, just like I did, just like I'm helping all my clients do express themselves naturally effortlessly without tension by addressing the real root issues then you can book your free consultation call with me this is the first link down in the description of this video book your free one-on-one -on -one call free one-on-one -on -one call with me we get to talk one-on-one -on -one, discuss your situation and see if you would be a good fit to work together with me if you're interested in that click the closest link down below in the description and book your free one-on-one -on -one call all right, I love you. 
authenticity is number one over everything. And I hope you are doing fucking amazing.